Hey guys, Sandy here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Stretch the Sketch. Now for this series, what happens is we take a 12 by 12 sketch, we twist it, turn it, stretch it, pull it, scrunch it down, whatever we can do to use that 12 by 12 sketch on a different size. Now one thing I like to do is to have little 6 by 12 uh, pages in my 12 by 12 albums. So I am going to uh, do that with this photo. So this is a screenshot of when we were in uh, Walt Disney World and we were riding Star Wars Rise of the Resistance. So it opened at 10 a.m. and you refresh 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 and you hope you get a boarding group. So we got boarding group 54 and we needed to return in about 250 minutes. Um, it was uh, Christopher, Lana, and I, see, your party three, that's how I know it was, this was from our, uh, last family trip before Lana left the house as well. So, this is the sketch. Now, let's see what I can do. All right, guys, so I am starting out with my all-star stencil from Scrapping Reflections, and I have it in my splat box, and I am taking... Uh, various sprays in a couple different colors of green and I am just spraying through the stencil. So I'm using a Brutus Monroe, I'm using a uh, Dina Wakely, and I'm also using an old uh, Studio Calico uh, color theory. So I went ahead and sprayed through my stencil and of course I'm going to take the opportunity to pull a stencil print. So I pull the print off and that will be the background for another layout. And this is what uh, has been left behind uh, from, the, from spraying the sprays through the stencil. Now I am going to tear off the edges and I'm using my grid mat uh, to go ahead and place this over the edge of that green background paper. And uh, using the grid mat is going to ensure that the stencil is still straight. Don't know why that that was so important to me because I'm I'm cutting off the edges and you really can't tell, uh, but for some reason it was, so just go with me, people. <laughs> um, and I'm going to do the same thing down here at the bottom uh, with the much uh, larger piece of the stencil. Now, I did play around with the idea of doing the stars directly over top of the green paper, but I really like it popping off of the white, okay? Um, so while I am posi positioning this, because it will take me a, a hot second to get it done, please make sure you click on the links down below for everyone who is stretching the sketch this month. Um, all of the stretchers uh, go in a variety of ways. Uh, some go traveler's notebook, some go 212 by 12, some go eight and a half by 11. Um, some go uh, 6 by 8, some go 6 by 12, like I'm doing this time. So there's always a, a plethora, ooh, that's a, that's a $3 word, <laughs> um, a plethora of uh, inspiration from Stretch the Sketch, just because everyone's minds work so differently and how they interpret the stre stretching of the sketch is always fun. So here is my photograph. And at first I was just going to drop it down onto my background without any matting. And I was gonna do that because I didn't want the background to get lost. Like I'm covering up a lot of it. So usually when I do a six by 12 page, my photo is smaller. Um, but because I'm using a full four by six photo on this page, it kind of takes up a lot of the real estate. So what I do is I go to uh, my small papers and I only have a couple sheets of the Echo Park eight by eight paper pads left. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and use that. Of course, I'm going to pop this puppy up on some fun foam. So I feel like using this green mat over top of all this green it kind of makes everything blend together and feel like a cohesive unit. So I could have done a contrasting color and really made my screenshot pop, 
Um, but what I decided to do was I wanted to make my title be the thing that pops. So I pull out my Silver Puffy Stars from the Paper Studio. These are a staple in my scrapbook room. Uh, I buy one every time I get down to the last couple of stars. Um, they, are, they go on sale pretty regularly uh, for half off, and I think they are a fantastic deal at half off. Uh, so now I am staring at the sucker, trying to figure out what my title is going to be um, and where I'm going to put it, because it definitely is not going where it is in the inspiration sketch. Um, I do have some green thickers that I basically have no more vowels left. There's no basically. I have no more vowels left whatsoever. Um, but there is an ampersand, so I pull out the ampersand. And then I thought I was going to do green and white. So my title is going to be Rise and Wait. So it's a play on um, Rise and Shine. And it's the rise of the resistance, so it's a play on that as well because, you know, you are furiously, furiously refreshing uh, to get your boarding group, and uh, it doesn't happen. So those, wow, that was a little bit of a twang. Those green, wow, English, I can speak it, I promise. Um, those green thickers were a little bit too forest green. Um, and I didn't feel like they really went uh, with my layout. So since I have some black and white going on already, I decided to yet again pull out these tile uh, chipboard letter stickers that are from Basic Gray way back in the day. Could not even tell you what collection or what it came in, um, but I do know that they did come from Basic Gray. So I'm going to use my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to adhere every letter ampersand down, whatever it is, um, because they're thickers and the adhesive doesn't last. And the basic gray is just old and adhesive gives up after a while, right? Like I have had um, elements on layouts that I've done years and years and years and years ago that had great adhesive back then, but the adhesive just gives up. It's like climate, humidity, whatever it is, time, age, whatever happens, sometimes the adhesive gives out. Who knows? Maybe in 20 years down the road, some of the Nouveau Deluxe stuff is going to give out as well. I don't know. Um, not worried about 20 years down the road. I'm, you know, having a great time doing it now. Um, so now I'm just going to add my journaling, and I decide to do it vertically on the page next to the photo. And then that is gonna do it for this layout, you guys. This might seem a little bit uh, less busy and less embellished than what I normally do, but you gotta remember, I think I scrapbooked like 30, 30 layouts of the Millennium Falcon, so this is just one little piece of what will be the Rise of the Resistance story in that Disney album. So make sure you check out everyone down below, and I will see you guys again real soon for another video.